What is going on guys, Gabsito here bringing you a League of Legends commentary and today I am playing Corky uh, AD carry and this is actually a ranked game for once. I haven't posted a ranked game in quite a while. I haven't played much League of Legends in lately either and uh, the channel has been a bit inactive. Um, after I was in Norway I didn't really you know, after Christmas and stuff, I didn't really post any videos. And I feel bad about that, guys. I know. But I'm working on a funny moments. Uh, I know it's bad, but I have, I'm working on funny moments right now. And um, uh, I thought a commentary in between would be a good idea. And um, so this is a ranked game, as I said. Uh, and it's not a placement game, it's the, a preseason game, uh, days before the placement game started. Uh, and I just realized the new season has started, I had no idea. Uh, because I played two games uh, today, and or maybe I play one game today, I don't know. But I played a game, and after the game I was gonna check how much LP I got from the game that I won. Uh, and it said that... You haven't played enough placement games yet, or something like that. Uh, and I just realized, what the heck? They they've started the season, and uh, so luckily I had won the first two of them. Um, but if I knew that it was placement games, I would have, I probably would have gone like try hard mode with Lux or something, and just you know, wreck people. But I didn't. I wrecked people with Katarina, um, who I get killed. Uh, by here uh, and I won that game as well as the other one I played before so I have two games two wins and one or zero losses loses whatever um, on my 10 plans placement games and that's that's a good start for not even knowing that you were in the placement games so uh, you know I thought well, let's just play a ranked game for fun and hope to win you know and I pick, picked Katarina, who is also nerfed. Uh, used to be one of my favorite champions, but she is nerfed, so you know, you can never know. You know, you can never know, you know. Um, but I had to try her after the nerf, and I gotta say, she's pretty weak early game with her um, ult and everything. And I got counter picked, fucking Pantheon. He picked the Pantheon and they had no AP, so we would win late game, but you know, lane wasn't very easy. Um, so we're taking the turret right here in the bot lane, um, and I'm gonna get that. And here comes Katarina in for another death, that's nice of her. No. Vayne is coming for a death, that's- no? Jarvan wants to die! And he is going to get his wish granted. Because I'm going to kill him right here. That's for my third kill. And uh, Katarina is going to get Ori as well. So uh, apparently they've nerfed Lucian as well. That used to be one of my favorite AD carries before he got nerfed. But I don't know. This might have been a long time ago. You got to inform, inform me on this if uh, I sound retarded. But... Uh, I picked him and people were like, wait, why are you buying Trinity Force? I was rushing Trinity Force versus versus the enemy. They were like, what the fuck, you shouldn't buy Trinity Force, man. That's stupid. Uh, and I thought, wait, Trinity Force is fucking OP on this champ. What are you talking about? And they said, oh, Trinity Force is nerfed and Lucian is nerfed, so it sucks. You should always rush Infinity Edge now. And I'm wondering if that is true. You guys can leave a comment and tell me that if you want to. Uh, a fight is gonna start here, and he's gonna get Vayne right here. He's gonna. F Ooh, a nice spear. Uh, Katarina's gonna die of my ult there. A little kill steal. I could have let that kill away to uh, Lee Sin, but you know I'm the Eddie carry. I should get those kills. So let's let's do that. Uh, we're gonna get the dragon, and Jarvan comes here. And this is actually gonna be uh, a death for me because Katarina goes banana mode, uh, comes in here from the side, and just somewhere around here, somewhere, come on, Katarina is there killing me right in the face with that uh, thing with all those knives and shit. 
but it's, it seems like Trinity Force is still uh, good to buy on Corky, which is always nice. Corky is also one of my favorite AD carries. It probably goes like Corky is one of my favorites, and then Vayne, maybe Lucian used to be. I don't know if he is now after all these fucking nerfs. God, I hate Riot. They need to take get their shit together. Stop nerfing shit. It's annoying. It's really annoying. It kind of breaks the game that they have to. It's good that they're active and fixing problems and stuff. But I mean, when they when they constantly have to buff and nerf and you know rework and all that shit. You you. I mean, if you don't read the patch notes, you're fucked. I'm saying that because it's true. I I haven't been very uh, patch notes reading lately and uh, or ever. Uh, but I'm gonna try to start do that because you're surprised of what they can do to the game. I mean, suddenly they might come with a Corky nerf, and then I'm sitting here in a ranked game with a fucking Corky, and he's shit or something. I don't know. So you should always read those patch, read those patch notes, and look at that. I miss my ult, but Lee gets his Q on him, and fortunately Katarina comes again for the kill on me. So also sorcerer's shoes, sorcerer's shoes, seems to be the right way to go on Corky, uh, as usual. And it's also a recommended item, which is kind of cool. Uh, it wasn't before. It used to be Berserker Greaves, I think. And then you know, that was quite a while ago. But people started, you know, the pros started using um, sorcerer's shoes or the, the AP boots um, on Corky. And now apparently it's become the meta, and uh, even League, League of Legends suggests it for the recommended items. So we're gonna win a little team fight there. I'm not gonna get any kills, I think, but a turret would be nice. Nope, it wouldn't be nice, or it would be nice, but I didn't get it. So it's kind of sad. It's not very nice. Uh, we're gonna get the dragon soon. Nope. We're gonna go for a little fight here. Yes, that's gonna happen. Trinomare is gonna get low. He's just gonna get picked off by Ari there. Stupid move. Why didn't he ult? Maybe he didn't have it. I don't know. Stupid guy. And this fresh ult. So good. So fucking OP ult. It just stuns you for like a minute. Almost. It's not even a stun, but this slow is so stunny. It's like a stun. And look at that. Katarina gets away with that little HP. It's just ridiculous. Uh, but we're gonna push for another. Tr nope, we're gonna push for the dragon. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for that. I think. Yep. Lee Sin gets the dragon right there, and we've got two dragons. Um, this new dragon system, I don't know if I like it. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, I mean, when you get those five dragons, like, it seems like. Dragon is a lot, it's a, you know, you, you want it more now than you wanted it before. It seems like a more important objective. It's like more important than Baron now to get those uh, dragon stacks. It's very important that you deny the enemy the Baron. So you take it so they can take it. Um, I mean, it's a stacking buff. Before it was only like, it was gold. It was nice with a little bit of gold, and that was really good, but, you know, it didn't have that same impact on the game, maybe. Uh, however, I'm gonna kill Trindami right here, and we're gonna go for the turret. So this is coming to an end, actually, guys. No, I, it's not. I'm just kidding. It's not coming. Wait, is it? No, it's like two minutes left. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go for the red here. And I'm gonna get that. And I'm gonna head. Oh, shit. People coming here. I'm gonna go for a little team fight. And I don't know what Jarwin was doing there. Just jump me with like 10 HP. And all these. Uh, we're actually gonna kind of lose this team fight. Trinimer is gonna go for a good play for once. He's gonna get some kills. Instead of just dying without using his ult. <laughs> but he's gonna kill Lee Sin. And he's gonna kill this Nita lead right here. And also, I haven't played Needle in a while. Like, not even since her rework. Or in a normal game, I think I've tried her. But I'm like so pissed. They keep reworking and nerfing and changing my 
favorite champions. It's stupid. I don't know why. Like they nerfed Nidalee right before she got right before, but they nerfed her a while back when she was actually one of the most balanced champions in the game. Like she took it took a lot of skill to play Nidalee in my opinion. She was mobile and she was a risk to pick. Every time I picked Nidalee in a ranked game. I knew it was good for me because I liked Nidalee, it was one of my favorite champions and I was pretty good with her. Uh, but everyone would go, no, not Nidalee, oh my god, pick a proper mid, you know. But she was actually great. And now it seems like she's more of a cougar form jumper assassin champion. But I love those spears, I love throwing spears. And it was awesome, you can still, they still do decent damage I guess, but... Um, it's I, I just want the old needly back where you can kill like in like fucking one shot someone with a needly spear. That was sick. I mean, it was also always a way to counter it. It was pretty easy to dodge the spears, and you could always get a banshee's veil. It, I feel like some dude at riot just thought, "Oh fuck, I suck at dodging these spears. I should totally nerf needly. We should totally do that, chief. He's fucking OP because I can't dodge your spears." No, uh, but let me know in the comment section below. That was a rhyme. I should totally become a rapper. Uh, let me know if you have any opinions on uh, the Katarina nerf or the Needly rework or whatever, or the new map maybe. Whatever's new about League of Legends. But don't forget to leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe if you haven't done that already. Peace. <laughs>